Good morning or afternoon. It's uh, it's evening for me though. Good evening. Um, I just got home and uh, apparently Obsidian has done something new. We have a brand new update. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to click uh, the little relaunch button right up here. Click relaunch. Let's see. Relaunch. And we're going to get... 1.4 so this is uh, just for insiders again right now and I uh, got kind of excited front matter management tag management all right start here what's new in version 1.4 shiny new things introducing properties a simple and durable way to add tags aliases dates and other metadata to your notes your properties can even include links to other notes so right away, I see the last updated um, property right here. New visual editor for properties in live preview and reading mode. Property types, text, list, number, checkbox, date, time. So we couldn't do checkboxes in front matter, right? That's new. And I'm even trying to like wrap my head around like what's the use case of doing that in front matter or in this like property mode versus um inside the note i feel like check boxes because in my head like front matter and that sort of stuff is mostly static or at least it's not changing too often whereas a, a check box is like an actionable thing that you're going to want to monitor and keep an eye on and you might add to it it's like it's something that you're going to be playing around with um which is kind of just messes with my um you know, like my uh, perception of how this type of data should be used in um, uh, in Obsidian in terms of uh, your notes. Um, new commands for interacting with properties. Add file property. Clear properties, edit, show all, show file properties. All properties sidebar pane shows a list of all the properties across your vault and number of uses for each. That is cool. All properties sidebar pane. How do I... How do I pop that guy up now? Properties. Show all properties. Show file properties. Moment. Title. Icon. Date. Moment. Oh. Ah. Capital and non-capital. Capital and lowercase. What am I doing? Uh, this is definitely going to be a mess because I go through and like I I don't. If I make like a big change to how I'm, I'm keeping track of my or doing the front matter to my notes. I don't like go back to all the other notes. Who got time for that? So yeah, this is this is an aggregated look at all of the. Now I'm pretty sure this is like, so and you got a little you got little icons for different things, little number icon thing here. Uh, portability. Okay, there we go. Properties are saved directly to your note as front matter, a special section at the beginning of your file encoded in YAML. This makes your note metadata readable in any plain text app and compatible with many tools that support YAML front matter. Um, tag autocomplete now uses fuzzy search algorithm. Add a button to copy annotations. Copy as quote, copy as annotation. All right, no longer broken. Developers, okay, about properties. Internal links. That is how uh, the new properties will determine what is a link versus what is text with brackets in it. All right, I'm down here at the bottom now. Let's click on add property. Uh, oh, it gives me a drop down. It gives me a drop down of all of the values used across my vault, and you can just pick one. Oh, that's awesome. That, uh, I'm loving that. I'm loving that. Okay. Uh, if you click the little, little bars here, which would denote text, we get, we can swap it to list, number, checkbox, date, time. We also have cut, copy, and paste options as well as flat out remove this property. I don't want it no more. Let's go um, time. Okay. So if you select property type and you go time, you get uh, month, date, year, and all that you can type in. You can just type in, type in, type in. Or if you click the little calendar, we got a drop down. We're finally, we're finally moving up in the world. We've got a calendar drop down built into Obsidian. I never thought I'd see the day. Boom, it pops it up right here. Okay, let me uh, go modified time. Okay. But, hmm. Interesting. It went back to text. Why did it go back to text? Go back to date. Okay. 
So date, it's a date. Let's swap it to a uh, time. Checkbox, grocery list, checkboxes. All right, um, lettuce, that's a, okay, it changed it to text. I feel like it's changing the type of it a lot. Type mismatch expected date time. Ma type mismatch expected text. Okay, okay, wait, there's a checkbox, there's a checkbox now. Okay, so this is not a check, I mean, it, okay, it literally is a checkbox, but it's not, um, this is, this is actually, uh, true false is what you're doing here. You're not, you, you can't make a list of checkboxes. So that makes more sense to me. That's why, uh, that clears up the confusion I had before because this makes complete sense. This is a yes, no value that you're toggling here. You can't actually like make a list of values that you're toggling on or off. So that I like. Um, I mean, I would have liked it if you could do a list of checkboxes because like you just use it the same way. But um, this makes sense to me. Whereas the first time it didn't actually, uh, wasn't too much sense in making. Grocery list checkboxes right there. There you go. So I think this is a very, very cool update. I think right now the impact is mostly visual um, and, you know, friendliness in terms of adding and managing properties. But even just that all properties panel and giving you that clear scrollable list. Can you sort that list? Uh, you can sort it, yeah, by property name or frequency. Perfect. Perfecto. So, um, I think at a minimum, this is just great quality of life update. But also, getting this panel with the um, occurrence counts for each each one uh, is going to really help me. <laughs> I know. I'll, you know, I'll sit down one day. I'll be like, all right, I got 20, 30 minutes to spare. Let's scroll through this. And then I'll see which ones are next to each other in terms of name. Like maybe I've got, um, I, there's probably, ta um, you know, property, from out of properties where it's like, oh, I've been using, you know, a plural form for X amount of times, but I've also been using the single form. And which one do I want? Let's consolidate or capital and lowercase makes them different ones. So I think, um, this was an unexpected, but very nice uh, update. I'm really going to enjoy this, I think. I mean, that's all I got. Bye-bye. One last name before I go. Uh, Sinead O'Connor is a beautiful musician. Pretty amazing person, it seems. And this is a pretty messed up world we've got here. Sorry. Bye. Love you.